Hello kids! How are you today? I hope that everybody is doing well. I will be your teacher in health, Teacher Lu. Today, we are going to talk about pests and rodents, their effects to human health, and how to prevent and control them. But before that, I have some reminders for you. First, Focus or pay attention, especially during the discussion. Second, prepare your learning materials such as pen or paper for you to jot down some important things. And third, you may pause, replay, or play back this video if you need to. After the lesson, you are expected to Name the diseases brought by pests and rodents. Explain the effects of pests and rodents in one's health. And third, practice ways to prevent and control pests and rodents. Look at these little creatures on your screen. Have you encountered them before? Can you name them one by one? Let's begin with cockroach. Cockroach has a scientific name of Blatodea. And they've been around here on Earth since the time of dinosaurs. Oh, that's how old are they are. Next is fly. Deptera is its scientific name. And they know that there are over 120,000 species of flies worldwide. Next is this, the fleas. Fleas are the scientific name of Siphonoptera. It is very common or they are very common to our pets. Our pets are their hosts. Next is a termite with the scientific name of Isoptera. Do you know that termites never sleep? Next is bed bug. Bed bug is known as surot in the Filipino language. Then, mosquito. Mosquito, its scientific name is Chilicidae. And they know that only female mosquitoes bite. They are male, they do not bite. Next, okay, the ants. The scientific name of ant is Formicidae. Okay. Ants has or more than 12,000 species all over the world. Okay. There are a lot of types of ants. Lastly, we have the rat or ratus, its scientific name. They, there are 60 known species of rats worldwide. And do you know that rat's teeth never stop growing? Oh. So have you encountered these creatures before? Yes, I know you did. So what are pests and rodents? Pests and rodents are insects or small animals that are harmful and injurious to people. These are the common household pests. Cockroaches, flies, mosquitoes, ants, 
termites, bed bugs, fleas, and rodents or rats. Rodents, by the way, are four-legged animals with two sharp front teeth like rats or mice, squirrels, beavers, guinea pigs, and hamsters. The pests mentioned may cause diseases and health hazards to people, problem in plants, and in other animals or in the environment in general. These creatures are the primary carrier of diseases and illnesses that can be passed to humans through bites and droppings. So these are the common diseases brought by pests and rodents. Okay. Malaria, transmitted by a mosquito bite wherein it infect our red blood cells. Dengue fever, potentially deadly due to mosquito bite, causing severe bleeding and organ impairment. Typhoid fever, it is a severe bacterial infection caused by salmonella deposited by flies or rodents in the water that we drink or in the food that we eat. Leptospirosis. It is a very common disease, especially during rainy seasons. This is a bacterial disease brought by direct contact to water infected by uh, rodents urine. Next is a rat bite fever. It is transmitted by rat bite, rat scratch, or contact with a dead rat. So as I have said, pests and rodents constitute health and safety hazards. They can damage properties, contaminate food and water that may cause and spread illnesses. So we should learn how to prevent and control them to avoid further problems. So these are the prevention and control of pests and rodents. So we can prevent them through non-chemical measures, such as traps or baits. And we can control them by proper sanitation, by throwing or uh, disposing our uh, garbage carefully and correctly. Next, we can also prevent these pests and rodents through chemical measures by using uh, pesticides, insecticides, and rodenticides. And we can control them by roofing or sealing all the openings for rodents and use of screen or nets. We can also use the ultrasonic repellents. So in control, careful storage of food, water, and elimination of clutter. So have you learned something today? If you do, then name some pests commonly found at home. If you answered cockroaches, ants, termites, flies, fleas, bed bugs, mosquitoes, or rats, then you're right. Now, do you want to live with those pests and rodents? Why? Or why not?
Do you want to live with those pests and rodents? Okay, I believe if not all, most of us want to get rid of those pests simply because they can severely affect our health and the health of our family. So as a grade six pupil, how can you help control pests and rodents at your home, at your own home? Mm -hmm. If you answer this, by keeping trash containers sealed, by keeping pet food covered tightly, by sealing cracks, by trimming trees from the roof, or cleaning the clutter, then you are great. In your science subject, you are taught to practice safety measures in handling chemicals. Can you give some? Okay, there. These are just the basic safety measures in handling chemicals. Wear gloves, face mask, and goggles, and many others. Well then, I'm pretty sure that you can answer your module with ease and confidence. I'm your teacher in health, Teacher Lu, saying, keep safe and be healthy, everyone. Till we meet again, bye-bye.